Just wanted Just wanted Just wanted Just wanted And we been working hard So if you hating hard It's too lost, you can fall back Yeah, yeah, I swear I made myself The top is where I'm going When I met him, wasn't all that Yeah Alright, I'm climbing harder, I'm grinding harder Alright, so far back, and what it takes to be great Faith is what you call that, so now it's time to do a bit I'm talking all caps in this camera time No one man to bounce, but I swear I'm what and all that Man, I got driving, I don't need to switch lanes Always kept some big dreams, been like that since fifth grade Yeah, they say I'm good now, but man, I'd rather get great And don't you ever get down, cause you know that it will change Now I'll have my own sponsor, call me Oh my god, bro. We should have them in the background. Man, they're all right. Freezers in the background. Alright, here we go. Just forget I said that. Yeah, so anyway, I'm here with my dog Molly, you know, founder of Blue No Bullies, and we in this thing. Today, we wanted to do a quick video on the importance of a puppy play area. The puppy play areas, like, so I. I would assume, because I just started, I just got into this. She just told me about this about two years ago. No, three years ago. How was Lucille? Two? Three? three? She's two or three, something like that. Be three. When when my puppies was up here, that's when I started noticing. But um, the puppy play area, man, it's full of, like, toys and enrichment and stuff like that. Blankets. And it's like, they got a whole, like, jungle gym like full of toys and I'll, I'll swing around and show y'all that uh yeah i'll just put it at the end of the video or at the beginning something like that but make sure y'all like share subscribe comment you know hit that notification bell so make sure y'all notify when we do all our new videos and stuff like that but i ended up back up here a little sooner than what i wanted to be because somebody made me come back to pick up a dog mm -hmm. but i made him the importance of a puppy play area here we go yeah, I'll let you take that. You want to take that? No, it's your video. You want to do It's your that. video, too. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead, you guys. The puppy play area builds confidence. It um, builds muscle. It teaches them potty training. Um, I mean, just a zillion different things. Puppies need so much socialization. And if you just put them in a box with some shavings in it, they ain't going to know where to go to the bathroom. They're not going to know where to sleep. They, dogs automatically, they don't want to poop and piss where they sleep. So you got to have a des designated area for each, and then that helps them know, you know how and to do that. You'll be surprised at how quick, like, they learn this, too. I had, uh, I do it with my Frenchies because it was just like, well, when I had my Frenchies a little while ago. But uh, I was doing it with my Frenchies, and... That's when I really realized, that was my first time really doing it full out, like the big area like this with the different options. And I kid you not, the Frenchies had to be all of four weeks old, maybe three, four weeks old when their first time in it. And they wallowed their little self over to the to the um, the um little potty area and they used the bathroom in the potty area and then came out and slept. I rarely had to clean that thing. Like literally, I mean, of course I'll clean it when they poop in and stuff like that, but I'm talking about the whole area itself. As a matter of fact, real quick, we got one that's going in there right now. Flip the camera around real quick. See? Let me make sure this camera back straight. It took 24 hours to teach these puppies to go in them shaving. It or was, in the pellets or whatever. It was nothing. And if you noticed um, in the video that I put at the beginning, or that I will be putting at the beginning, um, like the the jungle gym part it's like it got chains up there and toys and they all hanging from different it was like makes noises yeah and a slide like to help build confidence when they like own stuff like that like i literally just put um the male pup on the on a um grooming table most dogs make it on a grooming table they shake in and they don't like man he got up there he was and even her when she got up on the grooming table um she was just, I mean, she was a little timid, but when I started stacking her and stuff like that, man, she was up there like she had been stacking her whole life. Like, it was nothing. But the puppy play area is, like, so essential. I mean, 
I didn't know how important it was until I actually did it for myself. When I tried it for myself, it was it was a game changer because I was one to just put them in a box of shavings. Like, that was it. I just call it a day. Yeah, the shavings keep them clean, but still, you got to go in and clean those shavings at least every two days. Like, if you don't want your stuff to smell like pee. Some people don't. But with the puppy play area, they literally, like, you, you really only got to scoop out. It's like a little litter box. That's it. You just scooping out like a little, y'all excuse my she up there fussing at puppies. But it's like a little litter box. You just go scoop it up, dump out the poop, and you can use that all throughout the week as long as you scoop it out. Like, and it helps if you got a little cat litter thing, like with the little holes in it. Or a pooper scooper. Yeah, that work too. But the puppy play area is mad essential. I mean, and if y'all want to know where to get some of this stuff, I know that these little pins that, that they in, what is this called? An X pin. X pins, okay. You get so them off X, Amazon. Yeah, or Walmart, Tractor Supply, Walmart. Tractor Supply. They sell these anywhere. Um, the mat that's on the floor, those are like the little kid for school, right? It's like an exercise mat, a puzzle piece exercise mat. I get mine from Sam's Club, but they have them on Amazon, and and they you gotta will. get the big ones. The the kid ones are real small, oh. and it's easier for the puppies to pull them apart, and then they think they're toys. So oh, you don't yeah. want to get the small ones. I, I think they're like 24 by 24 is the ones you want to get, the big ones, because they're heavier. Yeah, and I just use a rubber mat for track supply. Yeah, I mean, or a mat. That's shit you heavy don't as have hell. to have that. A you rubber mat at track supply stuff. is heavy. I wouldn't recommend that unless you're putting it on, like putting grown dogs on that. But you can get the, the little tykes uh, step two slide. It's for, for babies, you know, for toddlers, little young, young kids. It's a small one. I mean, you can get a Facebook Marketplace. That's where I get mine. Anytime I need a new one, I just go on Facebook Marketplace. People are always selling them. Or you can buy them brand new. Facebook Marketplace is her Walmart. Yeah. You can get all kinds of stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, uh, like, now toys. I found toys to be expensive when I buy them from, like, Track Supply and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But, like, the little the little fake chain. I got some of those little But you can chains. also go to the Dollar Tree where everything is a dollar and get dog toys just enough to tie up to, to make the thing fun, you know. I mean, it just depends on what kind of money you want to spend. And but a, another good thing to get is a cat tunnel. Um, a little thing? Yeah, the cat the little tunnel, the little tunnels that I usually have in there. Yeah. I didn't get one this, for this litter, but I have a big one outside. And when I started taking them outside, when they first realized the tunnel was there, it took them in. You know, they were nervous walking up to it, but he went up through it first. Oh, he, and he went all the way through it, and then each one of them did it, and till you know, one by one, they all did it, and now they just run through it and. Stuff like that builds confidence. Just and like with the slide, they're scared of the slide at first, but within a day or two, they done learned how to climb all the way up, and then they love it. Like they love whoever gets to be on the slide, and they stand up over like everybody, the the <laughs> and they love that. You know. It's, and this also, uh, this just came to my mind while she was talking about it. But what I also noticed is like for this age, like let's just say, let's just say five to eight weeks you start to see like which puppies are like, as far as like the most confident and stuff like that. So that, I mean, for us, that kind of goes into picking puppies. Now all the time, it don't work like that all the time because sometimes your best puppies are kind of timid. But you know, like as far as appearance wise, but they still got like a little timid demeanor, which this will help build that confidence. But like, you'll notice which ones are like the ones that are just go for it right off the bat. Um, and last but not least, um, what is this, a rabbit tray? It was a rabbit tray. Uh, yeah, a rabbit tray. So like, um, you wanna you wanna use a this is this two hex pins or one? It's two because it, it's two gates on it. Yeah. So you wanna try to make it yeah. big enough, preferably two, two to three. I mean, if you, depending on size of litter, but you want two is big enough to where it's enough space to put all this stuff on the inside of it. Um, you can use, put them together with zip ties. I mean, that's strong enough, and that's also big enough for the little rabbit tray, like a they come out of rabbit cage. You can put that. You can put your um. Now I don't know which ones Molly like best, but I I like the pelletized stuff. Like that's the one she's using right now. I I've used both. I the pellets that. just work out better. I had one incident with pellets before because I left the mom in with the pellets, and she was eating poop from the puppies out of the pellets, and she actually swallowed them and they expanded on the. They tearing up the mat right now, but they expanded on the inside of the dog. So when they get wet, they actually expand. 
puppies do not. I've never had an issue with a puppy eating pellets. Not once. Have you ever had an issue with that? No, but we feed raw. Yeah, that that's true. Too. I feed raw. I don't feed kibble. So and pellets not like wood. So I would recommend if you feed kibble to use the shavings because they're not gonna get confused. Yeah, like. I mean, and like I said, I hadn't had an issue. The only issue I had was with the mom trying to eat their poop, and she was just ingesting pellets with the poop. Right. So that was that was the issue I, I ran over, I ran across. But other than that, <laughs> they're going right back to the same spot. But other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like they enjoy in the puppy pen, as you can see. Like, well, you can't see, but you can hear it. They going crazy in the puppy <laughs> pen. If we would have been. Oh, the that video with them behind us. I know, I know. She, look, she just oh, he, he said didn't like this. But anyway, that's it, man. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, you know, um, subscribe to our channel, and make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all can get updated on all our latest videos. I'm Tristan. This is Molly. And we signing out.